Yes, Marksman here, with a game that I got quite a while ago, but I've kind of been itching to play a little bit. As seen, you might have seen in the title screen, it's called Thomas Was Alone. It's kind of a, uh, a really story-focused, uh, cute, artsy kind of game. And I was really curious about it, so I decided I'll try it out. It's very heavily narration-based, so I should shut up for most of it. But I'll read out stuff. The program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coders started adding special name strings to the AI as jokes. Thomas AT to O. Thomas was alone. Wow. A weird first thought to have. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I guess I don't even need my arrow keys. It's odd. It's kind of weird way of doing things. Mm, okay. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. Posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. How cute. I like the dynamic lighting. It's, it's really nice. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to... what's the word? Jump. <laughs> inverted fall. Worked! Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. Inverted fall. I do that every day. <coughs> A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real... Oh. Well. Sorry. Something about no real danger. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Oh, it says something about society now, doesn't it? Suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Paranoia. It's kind of like, for some reason, like the music and the narrator kind of remind me of Little Big Planet. I don't know. Wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. <laughs> it might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. Well, not one step of my designed just for him. Skills. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. That was the worst jump of all time. Yeah. This is not one step of my skills. Ahead of my skills, Thomas, don't worry about it. I can carry the team. about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Oh. He made another mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Real good at observations. Observations. Guessing to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Oh, know how you feel, buddy. Don't worry, I'm here. This is an awesome game. I don't even know. This was worth the sale price, I think. Thomas had a new 
new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. I'd say the same thing. Was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Oh, it's okay, Thomas. You'll find someone eventually. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. That idiot would told me this would happen. Overlapping script. More than one area was bound to have spawned in the environment at some point. Misunderstood out to the little area that didn't have to change nothing. <gasps> Luke Russell. God dang it! I almost made it. Whoa! Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Oh, this dude's fat. It's a fat square. Don't be such a square, bro. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually, not technically graceful, probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. <laughs> It definitely reminds me of Little Big Planet to a point. Ow! Hello. All the way down these frickin' stairs. Okay. Slightly higher than Chris. Fortunate. Seriously. This made the whole switch press. Oh. Made the whole switch press and then not as cool. Because Thomas could jump higher. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine. Happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms. <laughs> I like that. Oh. Ah, ah, yeah! I'm good at platforming. Not at all. Ooh, an obstacle course. This is like... Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. <clears throat> he seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together. A brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm, from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up, if only for a few levels. Oh, Chris, he's so angry. <laughs> oh, epic platforming! Woohoo! Let's do this, Thomas. It's your time to shine! Woo! Oh, that was close. It was real close. Oh, that was a good call. I thought I was done. Oh! Oh! God damn it. That was real good. Good job, Mark. Yeah! I did it! 
Don't you worry about me. I got it done. I got her did. Whoa! Be told you. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. Game day. Game time. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Where'd they come from, anyway? I gotta change his perspective from, like, Thomas to Chris to John. This is real cool. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. <laughs> time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. Aww. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. I thought he was spontaneously generated like 20 minutes ago. Like 30 seconds ago. I like this. I don't know why. But it's cute. I love it. Little dots. There we go. Alright. Chris is there. Let's make Thomas get there with Yon. Yon the Nun. Yon. Yon the John. On a lawn. Oh. No, get in the thing. Okay. And now John. Good job. I don't know. This game is awesome. John can't do something. What? John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Oh wait. I think, can I restart? Yeah, okay, sorry. I think John was supposed to stay up there. <sighs> okay. You here, you right now, and you on your own. John was happy to keep helping. John happy! It's important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. What a nice dude. The only one I can do without is Chris. He's a real irritable fellow. Um. Dude, Chris, you gotta do something for yourself. Oh my goodness. You're so lazy. Oh my god, you can't even climb like a half step stair. Oh my gosh. Okay. You go here. You go here. Okay, you can climb that by yourself for once. Gosh. How would you stop being useless, Chris? Gosh. Alright. Well, hold, hold your horses. He didn't mind 
him so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Oh, Thomas is awesome. Oh, that was a good jump. Woo! This is cool. I like it. I like the narrative of it. It's all really nice and not evil. Not every villain is lemons. Not every villain is limed either. Just, just nice. Less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. Sounds like someone I know. I'm not naming any names, but. Oh, that was a really long level, and of course, freaking do everything, freaking Chris is so stupid, I hate you. Oh god. More puzzles. This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. To triumph. Alright, John, you go yeah. You Oh Chris! You botched it again! Ugh. You're so silly! Okay, you go right here. You get right there. You freaking drive him across, because Chris can't do anything. Chris, start pulling your weight, man. You're really heavy. So good luck, man. Wu Man Chu. Okay, let's move that guy over a little bit. Let's move Maybe him. That's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided he would keep them. Sorry, I kind of read home. The hero Thomas needs. In the initial group, it possesses a small, simple, simple variations in size string. More complex configuration were inevitable as its error spread. The variations became increasingly extreme. Whoa. This was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. Oh my she goodness. Rubbish at jumping. And she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. Crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Wait, what? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. <laughs> oh, Claire. You're so fat. Need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water, which was her superpower. Oh. See if I can just make it across in one jump, cause you know yellow 420 swag, yellow. Okay, I guess I can. All right, let's do this. Yes, overpowered. That was a good landing. Claire, stop being so fat. Right, 
Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. It's like a boat! Ah, I like boats. Oh, captains, my captains. Uh, oh, captain, my captain. S? No S. Alright, good job, Claire. Way to become a superhero. Claire arrived just in time. Which was, of course, the perfect moment. For Sorry. Continue. Claire arrived just in time. Which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Hmm. Whoa. Mm -mm. I hate these kind of levels. As the water began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. <laughs> it's very self aware, I like it. Wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Or was she more the Lone Avenger type? If you like that, the sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. This game brings a smile to my face, man. I don't even know. I like it. I dig it. I dig it like a hole that things are dug into. Ah. Whoa. Okay. The others told Claire that staircases were a bit of a fixture here. I wondered why the world made it so difficult. <laughs> I'm wondering the same thing, Claire. Claire Bear. <laughs> like Care Bear. Except Claire Bear. You know what I'm saying. Wah! Okay. Jump. Go down. Okay, good job. Santa Clarita. Alright, you... Uh, go... Here. Wait, what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, such an idiot. Oh! Oh, that works. <laughs> Died and then right back into the frickin' ending. Favorite character by far is Thomas. Claire probably needed a nemesis. A villain who would show their true colors at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough, and his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. <laughs> yes, Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. <laughs> it's funny. I like it. It's adorable. Adorable. Why didn't you? Alright, go Thomas, help him out again, as per usual. Conveniently avoided her insecurities. 
I don't understand how blocks can have insecurities, but you know what? It's fine. Claire's downfall? Claire was honest. And she had to be because she was a superhero. But this was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. Reasonably sized bodies of water. It's the story of my life, man. I do like how every single character like supplements the other in a different way. Except for Chris, he's annoying. No offense, but screw you, Chris. I don't think I can lead that off with no offense. I don't think that's legal. Senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that was close. I'm a we're doing boat. really well. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Some weird interactions there. No. No. Claire, go save Thomas. Oh. Ah. Fu Manchu, son. Fu Manchu. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, Chillinzy. Okay. Kannst du mir nicht verstehen? Ich bin in Deutschklasse und du bist eine Dunkov. No offense to you. Hopefully you understood what I just said. Alright, well, I'm going to end it here because I've been playing for quite a while. And, you know, I like it. I'm probably going to keep playing it. So thank you for watching. I'm Marksman, and I will see you later. Hello friends, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed, please like the video, it really helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, and some of my favorite games, as well as indie game coverage and playthroughs, subscribe and you will indeed see more. I am of course Marksman46, and once again, thank you for watching, I hope to see you again.